You're gonna have eight more batches like this? I don't know if it'll be what? quite eight, but a lot. Are you kidding me? Is that right? Might have gotten too many crops. <laughs> look at his glasses. Hold on, look at the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's a nonstop struggle between the steam off the pot and the temperature change from our from outside to inside. Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I am starting the video in one of the bathrooms. And the only reason why is because I've never started a video in this bathroom ever before. And I thought it was a perfect time because we have a lot of special guests here. Um, and tomorrow is actually the last day of goose season. Now, that being said, uh, what we're doing today, uh huh, we are doing a crawfish boil. A hundred pounds of crawfish, mud bugs from down south. I'm pretty sure they're from Louisiana. We're going to find out because my buddy Nick brought them all. What are you doing, man? Getting the boil ready. Getting the boil ready. Okay, show us what you got going on. Oh, good Lord. I think they all missed it, but dumped the whole crawfish everywhere. We were purging pounds? them oh, all over. Right? They're flopping around. It was bad. Yeah. They all ran, Nick ran in. He was like, hurry, help! And the top of this was off, and all I seen was steam. I thought it was smoke. I thought a vehicle was on fire or something. What do you got going on in here real quick? Uh, show them. Made it a little easier this time, just potatoes, corn, and mushrooms, and all the crawfish over here. Show us what's happening over here. What are you doing, Bert? Oh, how's it going, man? Uh, they've seen your face probably a half dozen times. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, man, look at these mud bugs. Look at these mud bugs. You boys just been... call them straight mud bugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, straight from uh, Lafayette. I, I believe so, yeah, yeah, right outside of Lafayette. Right outside Lafayette. It's been a, a so long they were, hold on, track. They were caught when? Yesterday, and then they were delivered to Dallas about 5, 6 a.m. this morning. Me and Robert picked them up uh, about 7.38 and then hit the road to Kansas and drove them up here. Put them in the cab of the truck. My whole truck smelled like crawfish, but we got them here. <laughs> Trying to keep them alive. Yeah, so we, got, we, got, we can't, can't keep them out in the cold. They'll die. Right. So tell, it was, uh, it was tell everybody about, you have done a lot of crawfishes. Your, Nick is the reason why P. Diddy and I have done so many uh, boils this whole guide season. Yeah, so, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I uh, I grew up in Texas and I had a lot of friends from South Texas. This guy Robert being one of them, and uh -huh. uh, their families are all Cajun. So I just kind of grew up going to crawfish boils. And when I figured out the boys in Kansas hadn't had crawfish, I figured we had to bring some so up. Good. Yeah. Tell them uh, why you can't cook them dead. Can't cook them dead. They taste really bad. They kind of get a soggy ish. I don't know. They're just not good. You know, you'd better cook them live. Uh, this is early in the year, so they're really small. Later in the year, it'll get really, really big. Um, and the, the storm that this is going through this week made it all the way to the coast. So uh, it made the uh, the catch apparently smaller than usual for this weekend. Well, Super Bowl weekend usually kicks it off and then kind of it goes from there. Just gets better as the year goes on. Dude, a hundred pounds. Hundred pounds. Are of we going to be able to eat it all tonight? It's up to y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I can only eat a few pounds myself. You know, right? we got to get everybody together and eat them all. It's a big party when we do crawfish. Are you ready? Do you have room in that there belly? I'm ready. You missed. You should have had the camera earlier. They missed the Chinese fire drill running in, panic trying to get everyone to come <laughs> That's out. what I told them. When these bad boys <laughs> spill, everybody's like, no. What's up, Bob? What are you doing? Man, I'm just chilling. Just yeah. like you said. We're getting ready to eat some crawfish. Yeah. So that's Watch some be, US, UFCs. Watch a little UFC fighting. Uh -huh. Eat some crawfish. I think there's going to be a crew of people here. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. So, we're going to eat a crew of people to feed 100 people. I'm excited. Man. Or, sorry, eat 100 pounds. Eat 100 pounds we might eat 100 people. What have you been doing? Not much, man. I haven't Filming. seen you guys since last year about this I know, time. Yeah. We're it's been good. Back. Yeah, I'm glad this that you're here. And we get to do it one last time before the season's over tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Thank goodness. Now we just got to get you to Minnesota. Right. Yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Frederick? You've been pretty clingy lately. Yeah. Pretty clingy. Do you want to go hunting or something? You want to go hunting tomorrow, huh? Give us pick crap. Oh, dude, you need a new screen protector, bro. I know, it's so bad. God. This is three months after. Right, how, but how, old are, how old are you? 21. Exactly. 13. Doesn't matter dude, he right acts now. like he's 13. Oh, whatever. Hey, we need another calling contest. 
He's gonna put it on his YouTube channel, dude. That'll be Let's see not it. good for you. Let's oh, it'll see. be good for me, dude. Ooh. I don't want to put you in your place. You Ooh. better think about this. That's okay. This is his oh, Bert, you're at it again. Oh, yeah, man. Dude, he is a crazy. Look at this. Shrimp bread topped with onions and. What type of cheese is it? Some Havarti cheese. Some what? Havarti cheese. Havarti? Havarti. Oh yeah. Bert is a grade A cook and I'm not kidding you. What's, what do you got going on over here? So this is some boudin right here. It's some boudin. Boudin. This is uh, basically like a pork and rice in a sausage casing. Oh and I, yeah, uh, yeah, I had it last two times ago. Oh yeah, exactly, yeah. I brought some up two times ago. We had some, some flounder with some boudin last time. Yeah. You just keep breaking out all this oh. yumminess. Oh yeah. What's that? Well, this is some, some basic, basic white rice right here. You know, I got got the rice and the rice kicker going. So oh, that's have to rice? wash it. Why is it so long? Uh, so this is actually basmati rice. Basmati. Basmati rice. It's uh, it's actually traditionally used in like Indian dishes. Oh. But uh, I'm all about that really long grain. I'm, I, I started using it, and I've just, I've been all about that basmati it's man. Really good. Oh yeah. All right, so What's this? so we got the, the white rice right here, and then uh, we got some uh, crawfish etouffee. Crawfish etouffee? Oh yeah, man, crawfish etouffee. It's basically smothered vegetables with smothered uh, with crawfish tails, oh. and uh, you serve that over the rice, some of that bread, oh. and that'll do it right there. Dude, I feel like I'm down south right now. Oh, yeah, and then, then right here, what's that? I got some chicken gumbo or chicken and sausage gumbo and i uh i smoked this chicken uh with some mesquite i was gonna say i can definitely smell that smoke. smell that smoke yeah and so uh it's actually my first time using the smoked chicken in this but uh dude. i've been happy with the results so we'll see how everybody likes it oh dude you are the bomb oh man Oh, did you make a buddy? Oh. Look, he's like, oh no, dad's here. I'm not supposed to be on the couch. Should I get down? He's not telling me to yet. What's up? What's up, man? You ready to eat some crawfish? Do you think the kids will eat crawfish? No, no way. No way. No way. All right, I'm here. I'm here. Go, go. This is the first round going in. First round of crawfish. How many rounds do you think we'll have? Eight? Probably eight? At least. Oh yeah, at least eight. eight. eight is this big one? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. You can't even see what's going on in there. It's literally so cold, it's with so much steam. Yeah. That's that witch's brew. Are you casting spells out here, boy? <laughs> Getting, you're already getting ready for round two. I know, huh? I'm excited. So, how long does it take to cook? Five minutes. Five minutes around. Five minutes, so a couple more minutes. And uh, did you show the pile pick or anything in your film? Yeah, we got you a little did. bit. Tell them, tell them how it went real quick and how many you shot. It was good. Poor shooting at the beginning. Real poor? Yeah, on the bigger groups. When we had singles and doubles and fours and fives, we did good. But when the big groups came in, everybody was like... <laughs> Right? Heard you guys decoyed like a thousand at a time. Yeah, right? it was awesome. We had two really big groups. Really? Yeah, 41? Came, came from town pretty so late today. Yeah. So late. It's so cold. Yeah. Uh, how many? 41? 41? 46. 46? Yep. yep. Well, that's better than I thought. Yeah. It was good. What was, uh, let's hear Joey. Joey's two cents on the hunt. It was trash. Talk loud. It was trash, rubbish, garbage. <laughs> No, it was pretty fun. It was, like the lessers didn't want to work perfectly, but the specs did it just right. And once the sun came out, then the lessers started doing it pretty dirty with a lot of really good groups. They just wanted to slide off at the end, and we couldn't figure out what it was. We did several adjustments to the decoys. Nothing really seemed to work. And then the sun came out. Boom. That's when they all dumped into the decoys. Boom. So I think it's just the weather. It's extremely cold. They actually gave this. Uh, Polar Vortex a name. It's like Winter Storm oh, Mary. Oh, they did? It's like Winter Storm Mary or something like that. Oh, well, it should <laughs> have a name. It's crazy. We have never, well, I, can't, I shouldn't say never, obviously, but it feels like it's been, oh, man, I mean, five plus years, seven years maybe, <laughs> since we've, oh, yeah. not for this long. Usually it's only for like a couple days. Mm. No, it's never been this long. I've never yeah. seen below negative temps, even where I'm from, for over a week. Yeah. And it, we're going on week two and a half oh. of over negative 20. Oof. Oof. 
One batch out of eight. We're gonna have eight more batches like this? I don't know if it'll be what? quite eight, but a lot. Are you kidding me? Is that right? Might have gotten too many crows. <laughs> look at his glasses. Hold oh, on, look yeah. at the camera. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's a non-stop struggle between the steam off the pot and the temperature change from our from outside to inside. <laughs> Underway here. This is this is really new to you. Yeah. What's your first just everything? I, I like it. You I love it's it? Delicious. Yeah. It's really good. I'm getting pretty. Uh, I'm getting the method down. I think. Yeah. We're gonna film you. Oh. We're gonna film the rookie. I'm a rookie too. That's a good one. Uh, it'll be a little, little Creole seasoning. It's not a big Bam. Thing do, Choice. It is uh, so good. Yeah, 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 Everybody's just getting down. Yeah, yeah. Like you see how right in the middle. Really uh -huh. really Dude, that's good. Yeah. The eight one not yet? as spicy as I wanted it, but. The Creole seasoning is where it's at. Really? Oh, yeah. Have you dipped it in the dry? Seasoning? There you go. That is where it's at. It's spicy. Is that good? Yeah, the next one should be spicier. Woo! Oh my goodness. Say the same, bro. You guys are still down here getting it? Dude, we're still getting after it. Woo! I can't get the shell off fast enough. They're good. Yeah, it's like as fast as I can get the shell off. So, this is round two, and half of the table down left. We got a hundred pounds to eat uh, when they bought it, Nick said that whoever they bought it from was like, you're taking that to Kansas? That's not a good idea. <laughs> and you probably need to haul it in the vehicle the whole way. Yeah. They said the truck smelled horrible. <laughs> horrible the entire drive. I bet it did. They, had this, they had this cooler in the truck? Yeah. Oh, wow. Major sacrifice. 100 pounds yeah. of them in the back seat. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what a fun evening that was. A lot here has changed, though. Check it out. Uh, looking a lot more put together. Floor is done. We got new tables. Here is a look over the past three seasons where our clients, all of our groups of clients have came from. Yeah, a lot on this side of the U.S. And a ton from Texas. Uh, we do have some available dates, guys. We have uh, some mid-November dates, which I personally love November. It's one of my favorite months to, uh, to hunt here in Kansas. Fresh birds are coming from Canada. They're making their way here. They're putting their feet down. Uh, most of them during that time have been traveling, migrating uh, days and days and, and overnight, you know, in through midnight and they're, they're hungry. So they're very vulnerable, easy to, easy to hunt. So we got some good dates, awesome dates in November. Uh, we have uh, the end of December, the 27th through the 30th, I can fit a handful of people. And then we have various dates, January, February. So if you have been looking, it is only two man minimum to book. That's it. Up to however many you want to bring. So uh, if you go over to sandhillflyways.com, which it is always linked down at the top of the description, you will see inquire to book. You'll just fill out a small form. It takes literally one minute and uh, I'll be reaching out to you. Kansas is amazing. This is our fourth uh, season in the lodge hosting people from all out of state. Everybody is. Uh, I, I still say it. I still say it because of the YouTube channel. We get a ton of father's sons. I just got off the phone with a gentleman that is surprising his dad with a trip to come here. And I think they're going to, I think they're coming mid November. So, so special, so special. Uh, we don't usually do a lot of crawfish boils, but that time we were able to, we do do a ton of shrimp, 
shrimp, shrimp, shrimp boils. We do a ton of those, uh, lots of steak nights, ribeye nights, uh, etouffee, boudin, uh, homemade chicken fried steak. That's kind of our, man, that's, that's a fan favorite. Uh, Bert, his homemade macaroni with it, uh -huh, it's to die for. But guys, if you have been looking to go on your first guided trip or just take the fellas somewhere else, uh, somewhere new, come try us out. You will not be disappointed. This is my baby. I ensure that uh, everything is ran properly. 110% uh, top notch. Um, we are all, all of us guides that host you, even Chef Bert, we are all uh, 35 to 40 years old and we take it very, very seriously. I am waiting for Tuesday. That is our cool off. I, uh, I expect it's a lot of your guys' cool off too. It seems like that's when, that's when Bob is actually going to start sitting in the deer stand. Uh, we start guiding November 5th, I believe. So it is right around the corner, like a month away. Subscribe if you have it. I am going to do a ton more filming in the lodge at night, just showing you guys how we get down here. We have a great time. Uh, everyone loves, it's, it's amazing camaraderie. It's amazing. Uh, it's awesome to see different people from across the states uh, get together. Some know each other, some don't, and they leave friends. We have an amazing time. I can't wait to do it this year. Thank you all for being here, but until next time.